Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to my friends. Today is a science year nine, week seven. This is a class discussing on classification and variation. Classification means a scientific way to actually help us to differentiate between the to recognize the organism and the variation is the process that we need to learn later. Good morning. This is Mr. Andy Clement. This is Mr. Mr. Henry Clement for your class year nine, week seven. In year nine, we need to learn about this microorganism later, about plants, and we learn also about animal. Animal, okay? Animal is a kingdom. Plant is a kingdom, but there's microorganism. We have four kingdom here. Three, three kingdom. Fungi in U British or fungi in UK, uh, US, Monella, and Protista. Okay. So these two will be one cell, unicellular. One cell. Okay. And the fungi, they live together huh, as a colony. So for the fungi kingdom, we have spores. Huh? The, the, the picture we have is a spores. Okay? It means that they don't have the, this is the way uh, they, they produce the offspring. Okay? They produce offspring. They, they produce their self. Okay? I'm feeling trapped. Or far this is the feature uh, of this of this group. Okay, for example, this one will be is 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 for the bread baking and the mushroom, and it's also for the alcohol brewing uh, to make alcohol to make. To make alcohol and mushroom, we know that we can eat the mushroom, right? Okay. And for the yeast, this is a very special. Okay. Um, we call it a predominantly unicellular. Okay. But somehow we have. So many is uh, which is known as switch between the unicellular cell and the multicellular cell. That's why we don't have the one cell here, this here, in this word. Okay. So is is actually a uh, polyphyletic groups uh, or species of the king fungi, fungi uh, or fungi uh, if you like it. Okay, so. Monera kingdom is and Prototista is a typical one cell. No? But the difference is here, this is with a with a clear nucleus. But this one is without a clear nucleus. Okay. So for example, we have the bacteria here, which is some group of bacteria shapes, coccus, coccus bacillus, bacillus, vibrio, spiridium. And spirocytes. Okay, so these are the shape of the uh, base type of the common type of the bacteria shapes. And then we have some Burgen algae also. On the other hand, we have the Protista kingdom, which is also one cell, one cell, but this is with a nucleus. This is a clear nucleus. For example, is amoeba, amoeba, okay, which the shape can be changed on the outer shape, okay, can move. Huh? 
and the cilia this okay you can see this is the cilia and we have lastly virus which is no cell structure for example you can see all these three yeah? the influenza virus the human immunodeficiency virus hiv or h and the coronavirus huh? so this is uh, the kingdom of the microorganism next we have the plant kingdom we have algae liver warts and mosses ferns conifers and flowering plants okay let's see we have some feature for you also this is the the algae is the no roots, no stem, and no leaf. Okay. For example, the green slime here and the seaweed. Seaweed is no leaf, no stem, and no root. We have the devil and mosses, which is no true roots. Eh? No true roots have spores such as this, huh? the most scanum most, and we have common liver was is this one and can you see the shape here the shape we call it the umbrella liver liver further we have firm firm we have a career roots we have stems flounds and spores okay so this is the feeder heat firms huh, which is We have the feeder heat here. I think in some country they this is a famous dish of the veggie they have huh? the uh, fruit food not firm they have. Okay, then we have the conifers. Okay, conifer is you have the woody stem, roots, cones, and seeds. Huh? So this is an example of fir. Okay, and example of pine. Okay. So we have many types, huh? Eastern white pine, long leaf pine, sugar pine, loblolly pine, western white pine, and ponderosa pine. Okay, this is a few types of the pine in the North America. Lastly, we have the flowering plant, which is the roots, stems, leaf, flower, seeds, and sometimes it's a woody and non woody, yeah? okay? So, for example, we have daisy, we have a mango, yeah, this is a mango. Mango tree, look at this. This is Udi mango tree. Then you had a mango here and there. The whole tree, actually, the mango tree, mango grows on the whole tree. Yeah? And then you have the mean. Okay. So next, we are discussing about animal kingdoms. Animal kingdoms, you have the main feature. Okay, such as the, okay, for this, this two group, but we have the main feature of these two, which is interbreed. Or which is without the backbone or with the backbone in vertebrate. In vertebrate and vertebrate. So vertebrate with the backbone, you have the warm blood and cold blood, such as mammals, birds, fish, reptile, and amphibian. We have this five group. Okay, for animal, okay, we have it. on the other side we have the ant, scorpion, and it's a wolf and tip wolf spider. Or this uh, will go to the invertebrate. grade. Okay, so let's see about this one. Number one. 
group we introduced to you is the jellyfish. Jellyfish. Usually the jellyfish will be drawn in the pink color. Mm -hmm. Soft body, tentacle at one and round the mouth. Box jellyfish. Sea anemone. Horror. Make heart teasing. Eh? Okay. We have a flat wound, very thin, flat body, such as that one and flops. Analyte worms, which is a very, can you see? This is a cylindrical, okay? The shape, huh? look at cylinder one, okay? Body divided into rings, such as earthworm, leech, red worm, and fan worm. Mimatot, yes, a small cylinder which is not divided into rings, such as hookworm and pinworm. We have the arthropods, which is a joint lead one. This is the group that we know usually, which is the insect, spider, scorpion, crustacean, which is the shrimp and crab, centipedes and millipedes. We have mollusks as well. Mollusks is a soft body with a small, which we shall sometimes in some of inside, yeah, okay? such as snail, slug, octopus, mussels, squid, scallop, and limpers. Okay, we have also echinoderms, which is a spiny skin, arm, such as a starfish and a grub shape sea urchin, okay, bristle star, sea cucumber, and sea lily. This is a sub example. So for the vertebrate, uh, this is the when we go to the zoo, we will, we will see this one, uh, okay, in the zoo. Okay, so the vertebrate is a, with the backbone one, with the backbone. Okay, we have the fish. Okay, fish, you have the scale and fin as a feature. Okay, such as barracuda and shark. So the amphibian will be have the smooth and water skin, tapo stage. You have the tapo stage. Frogs, toads, salamanders, reptile, yes. Skin cover with dry skew. So this is skew and this dry skew. Okay. Such as snake, turtles, lizards, crocodile, and birds. We have feather and beaks. Huh? As compared to mammal, we have the fur. This is feather, this is fur. And then give me to the young is for the mammal. The best will be the example will be eager and Human birds, the mammal will be lion and mouse, and also human being, right? So next, we need to learn about some variation. Huh? Variation. Most living organisms are different from one another. This is called variation. Yeah, that means we, we change, okay? Different species have different characteristics. Different species survive in the same ecosystem because they are adapt to survive, adapt to survive in different parts of the ecosystem. For example, different parts of the ecosystem, we call it the niche. Okay. Sea live in water so they have gills. Birds fly so that they have wings. Variation means that a certain number of species are more likely to survive when the environment changes. They are more likely to survive because they have adapted to the environment. Okay, so we need to learn about variation for survival. <laughs> How genetic information is inherited? Okay, we actually huh, have our genetic information from inherits half from our dad and our mom. This is called heredity. The inheritance of the genetic information happens when the sperm, this is the sperm, from the father fertilized with the egg from the mother. This is the egg. Okay, they join together. We have a half of the genetic here and a half here. So half of our genes come from the, our father and half from our mother. This is why we are both similar to our both mom and dad. The genetic information is stored in the Chromosome. Okay, the structure that store our information is called the chromosome found in the nucleus in our cell. The nucleus is almost every cell contains 46. Uh, for human beings, we have 46 chromosomes. 
However, the sperm and egg only con or only contain half of that, which is 23 and 23 on the other side. So the 23 and then they combine again, you have the 46. This is supposedly a new offspring. So this is new one. With some feature inheriting from the mother and some from the father. So this here comes the new baby. So each chromosome contains a very long strain of DNA. Eh? Okay. So this is a chromosome. Okay, this is a cell. So inside there's a there's a nucleus. So nucleus and then this one are called a chromosome. So inside one chromosome, you have this gene inside the chromosome. This is a gene, can you see? A gene, this one is an instruction to tell how to make a specific protein, how to make cell, how to make cell, okay? Several so scientists uh, play a part to discovering this one. In 1953, uh, James Lawson and Francis Crick uh, developed a theory of structure of DNA. Maurice Wilkins helped produce evidence to support Watson uh, and Crick's theory of the structure of DNA. Losalin Flankling, okay, make an extra image of DNA which show the DNA was a double helix. A double helix is shape. This is called a double helix. So these three person, okay, awarded this four person actually. Okay, awarded Nobel Prize for their work. Sadly, Flankling had died. Had died. Yeah, this person separately earlier than so that he could not award the, the prize even though her work was crucial to the discovery uh, because this Franklin is the one who actually proved okay, and show that DNA was a double helix. So most scientific discoveries are designed for the scientists working together and build the idea from other scientists. So they work as a group. Okay. And then also we have the variation between species. Okay. So a species is a group of organisms that can be produced uh, to produce to produce a fertile offspring. Uh, it's not that they cannot produce an uh, offspring, but they cannot produce the fertile offspring. It means that this is father, this is mother, and then this is the offspring. This offspring, if you want to get but be produced with other offspring of this, so they cannot cannot produce. And so this this offspring. It's not fertile. It's not fertile. Okay. The fertile means the offspring cannot produce offspring. Okay. So all the species are different. So we call it a, the variation. Variation. Okay. There are some idea that which is called variation between the species is called interspecific variation. So variation within a species. Okay. So we talk about uh, variation within a species as well as variation between the species. Variation occur within a species. Okay, this is what we learn more. Huh? Okay. So this is called intraspecific. Intra, this is inter, this is intra, within, uh, within. In, intra is within. Inter is uh, uh, between. Okay. So you have internet, also intranet. Uh, intranet is for only for your company, for a, for a group of the institution. So a path of twins, all human looks different. Variation occur because of the sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction mix up the gene and the, for the mother and father, and this causes the variation. Apart from these identical twins, no two brother or sister will inherit the same combination of gene from their parents. Okay, variation is due to the different organisms have a different combination of genes. Type of variation. Okay, we need to learn about two types of variation, which is one is called continuous variation, and the other one is called discontinuous variation. For example, this height. Can you see this certain height yeah, is a modal group? So that means most of the human in this world is around this height. And then you may find some 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 human being for about 150. 253, but the group is not much. And same thing, if you want to find about somebody who has tall until the height is until 190 and above, so you have a small group of that. But if you want to find the 169, it's a lot. 170 to 1, 
170 to 173, a lot. And then this 174 to 174, also a lot, okay? So this is the, most of the human being is a, this, this, this height. This is so-called, can you see this is continuous? Okay. And then on the other part, we have the discontinuous. Discontinuous, it means that, okay, the, when, when you lay out everything, you would it will not show you a, okay, a, a, a curve on, okay? Even though you put A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, huh? they will not send, show the same thing. For example, the good blood, this is all positive, all negative. So you may have all positive a lot, all negative, not, not, not much. A positive, and then A negative. B positive, mean B negative. A, pos a B positive, A B negative. So they, they are not showing a continuous curve. Huh? Maybe the curves are in down. Okay. The effect of the changing environment. Okay, why why variation occur? Okay, variation is very important when the environment changes. Huh? Extinction, okay, of a species, of a species, can happen when the environment changes. Huh? Okay, extinction means that the whole the whole species uh, disappeared and gone, become extinct. Okay, this is because they are less able to compete with the for the resource and produce in the changing environment. However, if the changes of the environment are small and occur slowly, yes. So if the environment change too sudden, too sudden, the organism cannot cope with it and will become extinct. However, if this happen. Uh, to be slower, slower, because the member of species are all slightly different. Some of maybe, maybe survive. Those individuals survive and breed to the new offspring and ensure the survival of the species. That means that the, 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 the stronger or the more suitable uh, species will produce offspring and so the sin will be, will be preserved. This is why biodiversity is so important. That means that we have more a measure or amount of the variation between the different organisms. Okay, the more diversity, biodiversity, the less likely that the extinction will will happen. So this is the last part for today. Okay, this is the last part for today. We have the gene bank, which is a gene bank. It's a place where scientists are store seeds and cells from as many different organisms as possible. Or they want to store the genetic information, not only that, store also the seed and the cell. Okay. So this helps to ensure that no genes are lost during the extinction. Even though extinction happened, we still want to keep the gene information. This gene may be helpful in the future to provide a new medicine for food. Okay. This, is, this is what we have learned today. Okay. So today we have learned about from the beginning, we know about this is a very short course. This is Mr. Handy Clement, okay, for your year nine. So we have learned about microorganism, then there are kingdom, then the viruses, three plus one, and then we have the plant kingdom. We have all these, and then we have the animal kingdoms classification with the vertebrate and the invertebrate, and then lastly we learned about variation, variation. Okay, this is a very short and intense, uh, intense uh, uh, explanation to you. This is Mr. Hendrik Clement, okay? For to get, uh, to get uh, the complete notes, always do, do not hesitate to contact, to contact, to contact us at Hendrik Clement and also Diofen Clement. Thank you very much. This is the sharing for today. Hope you enjoy your learning. Happy learning. Bye.